Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can make your own custom livery uh, for F1 challenge. It's pretty easy and uh, here's the tutorial. Now the first thing you need is a photo editing software like GIMP or Photoshop or Paint. <laughs> Paint is not really a good idea. So I'm going to be using GIMP for this tutorial because it's pretty easy to use and uh, it's pretty powerful too. Now the, the second program you need is uh, Mass Studio 2002. This will give you access to the uh, Mass files inside F1 Challenge. And the third one is 3D Sim ED, which for some random reason just doesn't work on my PC. And <laughs> I don't know why. But if you're luckier than me, uh, then just download it and use it. It's it's really helpful. It's a pretty cool program. So let's get started. Now the first thing you need to do is uh, go to uh, the games folder, go to season data, vehicles and um, select the team. Um, for this tutorial I'm going to be showing, showing you uh, how to edit the Ferrari livery because it's pretty simple one and it's easy to learn the basics. Now go to this team file here files and BMP files. Select the Ferrari BMP or if you're editing McLaren's livery, uh, select the McLaren.bmp. In some mods it's a bit different uh, and there's a different file for each driver so you may uh, need to use Kimi Raikkonen.bmp but in most uh, mods uh, it's just team name.bmp so Export image to file, select the desktop or whatever you like, and just click save. Now select the image file and put it in GIMP on this occasion. Now you can see uh, this is the 2014 league livery and tired uh, Gigabyte uh, as a sponsor, AMD, uh, T4, you know, you, you can see. Uh, now how, how I did that, it's it's pretty easy, now I want to remove this UPS logo because uh, I don't know, I just don't like it. <laughs> now uh, write brand name plus logo PNG, so simply right click and save the image as and save it, it it's that easy, I, I already downloaded it, so yeah. So here is the file put it inside GIMP. Okay, we have overall slope. Um, I'd like to remove this white uh, part here because uh, I just don't like it. Now make sure that right click here and make sure that uh, alpha channel is set at, in this situation is set, but if it isn't just click at alpha channel. Now click here and just delete, uh, press the delete key on your keyboard. You know, is uh, it doesn't have background now, so it's just the logo. Now click uh, select and none, and uh, just I would change the color just because I want to show you. Uh, select BG color or just select you know the uh, white color or any color you want. See simple as that, and just click here. Okay, so go to the scale tool and scale it down so it fits. Okay, pretty cool. And now you can see, uh, you can still see the UPS logo behind. Now that's not cool. So just go to the, select the pencil tool and click the color and click anywhere on the car where it's right, of course. And um, just like that, you know. Now uh, on this side we have the Motorola logo, but on the other we still don't have it. So. All you need to do uh, is either make this whole process again, which will be good if you're new, just to you know learn the things. But uh, here I'm just gonna select the layer and Control C, Control V, and move it here uh, like that. Yes, there you go. Now select the layer layer and select the pencil tool again and 
just remove this ugly logo now here we go we have Motorola as a sponsor uh, you already saw how you can change the color but if you want to change the wall uh, color of the car it, it's just the, um, the same process you know select here for example uh, blue I don't know why you make a Ferrari blue but you know just just for fun uh, select the bucket and make sure the threshold is not very high but not very low like I'll, I'll try with 70 yeah. just click and uh, you can see we have a blue Ferrari which is really weird but you know if you want uh, you can make it now uh, the second thing is uh, how to add like uh, some shapes or uh, you know like Mercedes is uh, like light, you know, these this stripes, they, they look pretty cool, not gonna lie. I'm not a pro with GIMP, so I'm sure you can make it inside the program, but what I like to do is just uh, type abstract light PNG, this, this should work. Um, there's some cool examples, I think this, this is pretty cool, but also this, you know. Alright, so I found this, I think it, it looks pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the... Uh, the shapes that uh, Mercedes use so obviously you can see there are many many colors but we want only one so go to colorize and uh, select uh, for this I'm going to use red obviously okay but you can see there's still some white and of course uh, everyone has taste but I just don't like it now what you need to do is just to lower the lightness you can make it like dark dark red which I think it, it looks pretty cool and you can you can also use this hue so it changes the it changes the color automatically Let, let's use I think this this looks pretty cool okay um, now just overwrite it and drag it here now you can barely see it but obviously this depends on what color you want it's a bit over the shell logo and of course you can just uh, download the shell logo and put it above this layer so you know but in order to save time uh, I think I think this I think this I think this looks pretty cool now uh, it makes that many changes but yeah it's just the basics and you can just use you can just use your imagination now what you need to do is just uh, either overwrite or export if you overwrite I will suggest you to uh, make a copy of the original uh, it's always in the mass file but just in case <laughs> you know everything happens just in case make a copy but here I'm just gonna overwrite the BNP and now and now what we need to do is to open the game and if you want to just test um, just drag it into the fo game folder like this and then uh, start the game so there we have it um, yeah obviously you can see the Motorola logo you can see really the this um, uh, light thing very well but if you change the color so you want to make a um, little yeah let, let's just try with yellow because you can see it now so now you go to export as and uh, just um, go into the folder and select uh, this ferrari bmp here and uh, export it and click replace yes now open the game and select the other Ferrari and here we have it. it's yellow it doesn't look <laughs> pretty good to be honest in yellow I, I think in red uh, looks a bit better because uh, obviously I just changed on the other side just to show you the difference but you know you can make it any other color you want so uh, that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed I hope it was helpful and uh, you see you in the next one